Bye. 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 Give me some room to work, please. All right, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Dawn's Life. We're gonna do a little project on the M4. So today should be pretty simple and straightforward, but I'm gonna show you how to replace the start stop button in this BMW. So we're gonna replace it with this red one that has white backlit lettering. Right now, what we have is black with this ready orange lettering coming through. So we're gonna get rid of that. And I'll show you how to swap it out properly without uh, breaking any of the tabs. At least that's the goal. But right now I am hooked up to my battery conditioner because I haven't driven the car for several days. So it was in uh, float mode, which is number seven on there on the SeaTech charger. That's in another video if you wanted to check it out. Uh, but since I've been opening the door and doing a few takes with this video, it's dropped in voltage but that doesn't mean the battery is not fully charged. It is fully charged. It just means since there's a drop in voltage, it's reanalyzing everything before it looks at topping it up. So I know it's full because I've been looking at it for the past couple of days and it's been reading full. So we're gonna unhook it here. Here's the quick release I hooked up in a previous video. Definitely recommend one of these if you have a lithium battery. It's the best way to take care of it. So there we go. Now I just take this out, throw it in the trunk, and then I always have it. Okay, this install should be pretty straightforward. Make sure you order yourself one of these. That's the start stop button replacement. And I have some tape just so I can mask out the area that I'll be using the pry tool up against so I don't scratch the leather or any of the plastic trim. So let's take this stuff, go inside and get started. Okay, here is my tape and it doesn't stick to the leather. So we have a backup plan, which is a rag. So very carefully, you wanna put your rag against the surface you're prying. And just wedge your tool in there. Just like that. So I've got it to pop out a little bit. I'll hold that with my finger. And I'm just gonna go to the other side here. There we go. Now I can work the rest out by hand and not use the tool. And then it comes out pretty easily after that part. So once you push the tab on the bottom of this harness and the top of this plug, you can pull it out. And as you can see here, there is a metal tab at the top and one on each bottom corner. So if you work your pry tool, in at this corner or any of the bottom area, um, I found that's easiest to get it out. Okay, so let's take this uh, out of the car where there's better lighting and replace this button. We have some very fragile clips we need to take apart. So we have one there, here, 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 and here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna work on those right now very carefully not to pry them off uh, with too much pressure. And like just very lightly I'm lifting them and it's already uh, separating right here. So that's good. And I'll just continue doing that here. Hopefully it picks up on camera. Very light pressure. Don't want them to break. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna put this down here. I've never taken this apart before, so I don't want anything to fall out. Okay, that looks pretty safe. 
This is a rubber interface like you'd have like in your PlayStation or Xbox controller. So we don't want that to fall out. And we want to get at this button. So, oh, here we go. So if I look at the button I'm putting in, there's two tabs right there. Okay. So those tabs are located in here, one there and one there. So we're going to have to carefully with our smaller flat screwdriver, bend that tab in and at the same time, the other side. So yeah, you're gonna have to do both at the same time. So let me grab one more tool. Here we go, this little screwdriver came with the button, but it's small enough to fit in here. So I'm gonna get one ready in this hand. Just like that. And then I'm gonna to go to this side. Now they're both off. And now it should come out. So there it's pushed out far enough. I don't think it'll fall back into place. I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's starting to raise out. You can see it there. So I'm going to very carefully pull this one out. There we go. It just falls out. So there's the difference. Of course, I keep all the original stuff because the next owner of this car may not want to have a fancy red one, which gives you an extra 102 horsepower. That's a joke. Don't quote me on that. Okay, so it looks like they're going to fit. You can see there's some cutouts on here, uh, but the button stays pretty much flush, so I'm not worried about any of those cutouts showing. Looks like they're just trying to save on uh, plastic. So if everything's working correctly, this should just snap in when I push. I didn't hear the snap sound. So I might have to help the tabs on or it's not 100% aligned. The tabs are secure, as you can see there. At first when I put it in, they were both up a little bit. So it's just the angle that I put it in because this has some play to it. Your angle might not line up. You see how simple that was? So we just have to put our backing plate back on. And again, just carefully cinch everything up. Looks good. There, now it's got its resistance as it should. Now let's uh, put it back in, turn it on and see what it looks like. Okay, here we are. Gonna plug our harness back in. I'm going to gently work the switch back in. There we go. Now let's uh, close our door here. And there she is all lit up. Let me just uh, grab the camera and give you a better look. There it is. So the LED itself that lights this up must be uh, red or amber or to give it that kind of orangey look. Um, but there it is illuminated. And there it's not illuminated. So it goes back to white when it's not uh, on. So it's going to be the same as, as these here. So if we start it up. It's the same as my M buttons, all the buttons. So it all matches, which is what we want. Awesome. I think it turned out well. All right, we're done. That was probably the easiest install I've ever done on my M4 for any accessory or upgrade. Pretty simple to do, I think any of you could do it at home. 
Uh, if you're like me, that's what you want to do. But what do you guys think of this wrap? If you remember from a previous video, I had some scrap vinyl left over from previous projects. This used to be the color of my wife's uh, Cadillac Escalade. And I used that to make this geometric pattern wrap completely random, smaller pieces at the front, working the larger ones around the back here. Again, you could look at the link to that video up above. Uh, but I don't know, I'm, I'm really liking it. It's, it's growing on me. And uh, I think coupled with the bronze wheels uh, that I just had done not that long ago, very unique, very custom. And for winter wheels, I think that they are pretty damn nice. But the reason I asked about the wrap is because this wrap is getting taken off pretty soon. It's kind of a shame, but the nice thing about this wrap, it wasn't that hard and I could do it again. It wouldn't turn out exactly the same. Um, I almost thought about having some bronze color in there to accentuate the wheels, but instead I've committed to a new wrap. So I have some samples up here and the new wrap is probably gonna be one of those colors. So you let me know what you think, but uh, either way, I've already committed to one of those. So even if you think that it shouldn't be one of those colors or you decide that it should be one of those colors, I've already made the decision on what it's gonna be, but I'd be curious to see what you guys think. Anyway, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing so you get all the updates, and we'll talk to you next time.